All right, here it is, the iPad Wi-Fi Plus 3G. We wanted to show you how to sign up for uh, AT&T's uh, 3G account so you can get online without Wi-Fi. Uh, when the first time you open up Safari and it can't connect to a Wi-Fi connection, it's going to give you a pop-up saying, do you want to set that up now? You can choose to do that. The more reliable way to go take a look at that is to go to your cellular data section inside settings. You can see you can turn data on and off. Uh, which is convenient if you have the smaller uh, rate plan. You can also turn data roaming off, which is important if you're traveling. You can uh, edit your APN and your SIM settings, or you can tap view account, which is going to give you this cellular data account pop-up. Uh, unfortunately, it takes quite a while to, uh, to boot, but that might be because there are millions of other people trying to do this right now. Um, but it's very simple. Uh, you enter your user information, your first name, last name, telephone number. You set a login. Um, you enter in your credit card information and you choose your plan. Uh, you can choose either 250 megs uh, for 30 days at $14.99 or uh, the default here is unlimited data for 30 days for $29.99 a month. Um, now the thing that you need to be aware of is that this uh, gets rebuilt automatically every month. Uh, so it's not that you do it once and then the next month you do it again and again and again. Uh, it just it happens automatically. So if you sign up for this and then just forget about it, you're going to get billed 30 bucks a month, which is something to be aware of. Um, I would prefer that you have to do it manually, but of course I'm sure AT&T prefers that uh, you ha it happen automatically. So I'm going to punch in my data here and uh, then we'll see what, uh, what happens after that. Okay, so I punched in all my data and they're giving me big long terms of service, which I totally want to read, but I'm not gonna. I'm going to agree to it. Perhaps they need me to scroll all the way down to the bottom before I'm allowed to agree to it. If so, this is some pretty crappy interface. Okay, there, I've totally read it. I agree. 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 There we go. <laughs> All right. Payment summary. Um, there's my information, which I guess I'm going to block out. Totally awesome. I signed up for the unlimited plan. You could also add international on that, apparently, which is pretty exciting. So I am submitting. Updating my iPad account. It'll take a few minutes to process the update. You'll be notified when this update is complete. Okay, so I guess I need to wait for them to notify me. I mean, we'll give it a shot here, though. See what happens. Not connected to the internet. Come on. All right. Well, let's uh, let's wait for the notification. It's uh, two thirty in the afternoon. And hey, there it is. So it only took a minute or two. And oh, pow, we are loading up. The full internet, the whole internet in our hands over AT&T's 3G network. Look at that. Really quality stuff. And if we go back to our settings, and we go to cellular data, you can go back here, view account. And it's going to want me to log in, which I will do. And you can see you've got a few options here. You've got your data plan set. You've got your status, how many days remaining, your billing period. You can add data or change plan. You can add an international plan. You can edit your payment information. All very straightforward and simple. Go back. You can add international. You have 20 megabytes for 25 bucks, all the way up to 200 megabytes for $200. And you can choose your uh, when you want that to start. Uh, pretty simple stuff.